What happened to Rainbow? Disillusioned and fed up with the chaotic state of Deep Purple in the mid-70s, guitarist Richie Blackmore made the stunning announcement in May of 1975 that he was quitting the group he had founded and led for over seven years to start from scratch. Teaming up with up-and-coming American vocalist Ronnie James Dio, Blackmore built Rainbow around the singer's former band Elf, minus their guitarist David Feinstein. The band's name was inspired by the Rainbow Bar and Grill in West Hollywood, California. Featuring bassist Craig Gruber, keyboard player Mickey Lee Soul, and drummer Gary Driscoll, the group's 1975 debut, Richie Blackmore's Rainbow, was quickly embraced by European fans and yielded their first hit single in the UK, Man on the Silver Mountain. Blackmore and Dio were dissatisfied with the album's sound, however, and decided to revamp Rainbow, by then sufficiently established to do without Blackmore's name by drafting bassist Jimmy Bain, keyboard player Tony Carey, and former Jeff Beck group drummer Cozy Powell. It was with this lineup that they entered Musicland Studios in February 1976 to record the landmark Rising Opus. Once voted the greatest heavy metal album of all time in a 1981 Kerrang! magazine readers poll. Capturing Blackmore and Dio at the peak of their creative powers, Rising chronicled both the guitarist's neoclassical metal compositions at their most ambitious and the singer's growing fixation with fantasy lyrical themes, a blueprint he would adopt for the rest of his career. Following its release, the band embarked upon a successful world tour, culminating in a sold-out European jaunt, which spawned a best-selling live album entitled On Stage, released in 1977. By the time they returned with the equally acclaimed Long Live Rock and Roll album in 1978, featuring bassist Bob Daisley and keyboard player David Stone, Rainbow had established themselves as one of Europe's best-selling groups and top concert draws. But the volatile relationship between Blackmore and Dio further deteriorated as the American-born singer became increasingly frustrated standing in the guitarist's shadow, even in his own country, where the group was now fully committed to breaking big. To make matters worse, Blackmore had been so impressed with Long Live Rock and Roll's success as a single that he began to consider altering the band's sound to pursue a more mainstream hard rock approach, a direction which Dio wanted no part of. A chance meeting with Tony Iommi of Black Sabbath, only recently divorced for good from unreliable frontman Ozzy Osbourne, helped the singer make up his mind and Dio officially quit Rainbow in early 1979 to join Black Sabbath. Finding a suitable replacement for the charismatic singer proved a serious dilemma and when he eventually recruited former Marbles vocalist Graham Bonnet, his decision came with an all-round retooling of Rainbow Sound, not to mention once again the band's membership, which now included former Deep Purple cohort Roger Glover and keyboard player Don Airy. With the release of 1979's Down to Earth, gone were the mystical themes and epic metal compositions replaced by a more streamlined commercial hard rock style. But despite containing two of Rainbow's biggest singles, All Night Long and Since You've Been Gone, the second being written by former Argent singer Russ Ballard, the album sputtered in stores, selling far fewer copies than the group's previous Dio-fronted efforts. Bonnet also failed to meet Blackmore's lofty expectations on stage, and after a single disastrously drunken performance at the inaugural Castle Donington Monsters of Rock Festival in 1980, the singer was unceremoniously given the boot. Once again strapped for a vocalist, Blackmore found his man in American singer Joe Lynn Turner, who along with new drummer Bobby Rondinelli signaled a true career rebirth for Rainbow. 
Wishing to shed the group's overblown Dio-associated Euro metal sound of days past once and for all, the new Rainbow lineup was made to order for another bid at widespread acceptance in America. The first product of this new direction, 1981's well-received Difficult to Cure, helped the group regain some of their momentum and yielded their highest charting single ever, another Russ Ballard penned track entitled I Surrender. The record's title track, a sprawling 10-minute metallic blitzkrieg through Beethoven's Symphony No. 9, was the only throwback to Rainbow's highbrow metal origins. Released in 1982, straight between the eyes, the band's appeal began to nosedive, along with Blackmore's increasingly uninventive, risk-free songwriting. However, they did have a top 40 single on the Billboard Hot 100 with Stone Cold that reached number 40. 1983's Bent Out of Shape featured new members in keyboard player David Rosenthal and drummer Chuck Berge, and it didn't fare much better. And after accepting the fact that Rainbow's best days were behind them, Blackmore finally relented and took part in the long-rumored and hoped-for reformation of Deep Purple's classic Mark II lineup. Typically, the guitarist refused to go quietly, and Rainbow was backed by a full symphony orchestra for their final March 1984 performance in Japan. A live release entitled Final Vinyl was compiled in 1986. In 1988, after joining the band in Pelletry, Graham Bonnet covered Since You've Been Gone on the group's debut album, Stand in the Line. Richie would briefly resurrect the Richie Blackmore's Rainbow moniker after quitting Purple for the second time in 1994, even recording an album called Stranger in Us All. And this dookie white incarnation would be short-lived. Blackmore was later heard performing with his purported fiancée Candace Knight in the medieval folk duo Blackmore's Night. Around the same time as the production of Stranger in Us All from 1995, they were already gearing up their debut album Shadow of the Moon which would be released in 1997. Unfortunately, Keith Powell died on April 5th, 1998 in a car crash on the M4 motorway near Bristol while driving at 104 miles per hour in bad weather. He was rushing to the house of a married woman he was dating who was having problems with her husband. Powell was not wearing a seatbelt and he had a blood alcohol reading over the legal limit and was talking on his phone when the crash occurred. He was ejected through the windscreen and died at the scene. The investigation also found evidence of a slow puncture in a rear tire, which may have contributed to the crash. In 2009, Joe Lynn Turner, Bobby Rondinelli, Greg Smith, and Tony Carey created the touring tribute band Over the Rainbow with Jurgen Blackmore, who was Richie's son as the lead guitarist. On May 16th, 2010, Dio passed away of stomach cancer. Following a prolonged break, Blackmore announced in 2015 that he planned to play a series of concerts under the moniker of Richie Blackmore's Rainbow. The new lineup featured Lords of Black singer Ronnie Romero, keyboardist Jens Johansson, Blackmore's night drummer David Keith, and bassist Bob Nouveau. The band played several shows, which included headlining the famous Monsters of Rock Festival in Germany. Despite previously saying they wouldn't be releasing new music, Blackmore later admitted they'd written new material, but rather than a full album, it would likely just be released as singles. The band announced a UK tour in 2017 and released live in Birmingham 2016 that same year. In October 2023, 
Romero effectively confirmed his departure from the band by stating that Rainbow is not his place anymore while still speaking positively of his time in the group. And that's what happened to Rainbow. Thank you for watching. Like and subscribe if you haven't already. Give me some facts about Rainbow that I failed to mention and let me know who I should do next. Thanks again for watching and I'll see you in the next video.